Kim here with Whiny Women. It's uh, Sunday evening. No footballs on tonight. It's the week before um, the Super Bowl. So um, here's something for you. Um, when you read, when you watch this video, I want you to leave a comment on my blog and tell me which team you're going to be going for. I think it's the um, uh, Patriots and Washington. It's uh, not Washington. What is it? Uh, oh my gosh, I don't even know who the other team is, but I'm going for the, I'm going for the Patriots. So, anyhow, um, if you're a football fan, I'm sort of not one, but anyway. So I wanted to do a wine review tonight. I'm going to have, uh, grilled salmon. It has a little, uh, lemon olive oil, salt and pepper, and then we're doing these, um, potato broccoli, um, cake type things that we've got from Ikea with a salad. And then I have a big chocolate cake um, for dessert. I've been craving chocolate cake, so I made one today. So I was I based my wine on my chocolate cake um, because red wine always goes good with chocolate. So the wine that we're going to be reviewing tonight is one I got when I was up in um, <clears throat> Oregon over the summer. It is Stoller Vineyards. Their label's kind of light, so I don't know if you can see that. Stoller Vineyards. It's a 2009 Tempranillo. And um, I had such a good time when I went to Stoller Vineyards. It was the last vineyard of the day. I was doing this marathon um, tasting, and, man, it was, it was evident. But anyway, they were my last one. And um, I had such a good time. I met a couple of funny people there. And I'm terrible with names, so I'm not going to even try. But anyway, um, it was the son of the owners of the vineyard, and I don't remember his name, and I couldn't find it on the website. So he was he was like there just for the summer to pour. But anyway, so we're sitting there, and we're chatting, and he's pouring wine and stuff, and he brought out their glass. And this is a Stoller glass. See the little logo right there? And he was trying to convince me that this wine glass right here, this Pinot Noir glass, um would hold an entire bottle of wine and so I challenged him and uh, he went and got a bottle he filled it up with water and sure enough this Hummer right here this glass will fill an entire bottle of wine with just a tiny bit left over so you could put your entire bottle of wine in here and I would say that if you did that that you were drinking a glass of wine and you were letting it breathe so um, I bought the glass, obviously, because I want to be able, I've done it. I haven't drank a whole entire bottle out of this one glass at once, but I like to tell my friends and show my friends when they come over because it's such a, it's a cool little trick. So um, tonight, yes, the Tempranillo, and I'm going to read you off the back. Um, they actually get this from their one acre estate planting. It's um, aged in French oak. Um, it's raspberry, black currant, and spicy nose with hints of cocoa. Um, enjoy with grilled meats and vegetables. So I think I'm going to be okay tonight, even with my salmon, um, to have this wine. So let's go ahead and give it a sniff. And I've, I've tried to let it breathe a little bit. Um, it's really deep in color. I like that. And funny that, you know, Oregon is really um, known for their Pinot Noirs, but um, for some reason the Tempranillo just really grabbed me from stoller that day so we'll see if I had had too much to drink and this just was the best thing that tasted to me or um if it's really a good wine uh, I smell I do smell the blackberries I smell kind of the earthiness you can smell the oak mm, it smells good mmm you taste that current on the tongue like a cherry blackberry-ish type of, it's a really juicy fruit tasting. Slight tannins right at the touch or at the beginning, so I'm going to take another sip just to see if they're still there. <clears throat> Very smooth. Um, oh yeah, tannins are still there, my love. Um, and although this uh, looks like a really full body deep wine, it's actually a medium bodied. It's not, it's not coating like, um, like full bodied wines are. Yeah, 
it's kind of um there's all kinds of things bouncing around in there you taste that french oak you taste the the blackberries and cherry currant type thing and it just kind of it kind of just sits there and it's it's like a lingering taste which which is nice um because it's like you know how sometimes you taste things and like they go away right away this one's just kind of hanging out and I really like that it kind of kind of gives me that sense that the wine is just kind of it's just staying with me and I like that so I think I really like this uh, Tempranillo so I must have not had too much to drink I must have really known what I was doing when I was purchasing this mm, yes it finishes balance. It just feels balanced the whole way through. Um, if you uh, have never been to Stoller Vineyards, I really recommend it. I think they have some, um, like a, <clears throat> I don't want to call it a hotel, like maybe a cab, not cabins, but you can stay there. So you can make reservations and stay overnight there. Um, their vineyard is beautiful. They have uh, a patio out where you can just go in, buy a bottle of wine and um, take some snacks out and enjoy. Um, I'm not sure if they actually serve uh, like cheese type things. I don't remember that, but um, it was a beautiful, beautiful vineyard and I enjoyed being there. And um, hopefully Stoller is uh, on the uh, ticket to go uh, visit when I'm at the Wine Bloggers Conference in August because I know they're going to be doing a day and a half of um, touring the Oregon winery. So hopefully you're on there so I can come back and see you and get some more wine. So um, you guys have a great week coming up um, and drink some wine. Go get some Stoller 2009 Tempranillo, although I went on the website and this one's no longer there, so I don't know if they're just not making it or if it's, um, I didn't see any Tempranillos, but maybe they're, maybe they're not making this one anymore, but that's too bad for you guys because it's actually good wine. So, but go visit Stoller Vineyards, um, um, go visit my website, winingwomen.com, and there will be a link to their website. Until next time, I hope you guys have a great evening. Oh, let's get my Stoller in there, oops. And you guys have a good evening. Cheers!